Hello, my name is Peter Simpson. I'm a psychologist and the managing director of BSS. This is one of a series of short videos dealing with the COVID-19 crisis. As we all know, the COVID crisis may lead to schools being closed, at least temporarily. This video is to help you help your children learn effectively at home. So if your children are learning at home, what are your responsibilities? Provide support for them by establishing routines and expectations. Very important that even though they're at home, children understand this is a school day. Define a space for them to work in. Monitor communications from teachers. Even though schools are closed, you'll be having regular contact from teachers, providing information and curriculum for your children to work through. Begin and end each day with a check-in. Encourage physical activity and exercise. Regularly check to see how your child is managing the stress and monitor how much time your child is spending online. Setting up a learning space. This is really important that you set up a formal and comfortable place where the child will learn. The reasons for this is that entering or leaving a dedicated learning space will help your child switch on and switch off. When I'm in that room, I'm at school. When I come out, I'm at home. It will also help that others will know that when you and your child are in there, you're engaged in important stuff. Don't set up in the child's bedroom. They expect to relax and wind down there. It's not a good place for them to be learning. Don't work on the kitchen table or anywhere else that you'll have to pack up and, and uh, change two or three times a day. Ensure you have all the books and other required resources. Again, keep in mind that your school will help with these. Set up computer facilities so your child can access online learning material. Make sure your space looks and is learner friendly. Have a permanent desk or learning area set up. Now that doesn't mean that all day they need to be sitting at a desk, but they should have a formal work area. Display some of your child's work in the learning area, just as they do in a classroom. Treat home learning like any other school day. Help your children see this as a normal school day, not an extended holiday. Have your child get up and get ready at their usual times. Maintain a schedule. Have your child get fully dressed in casual clothes, but nevertheless signalling that there's work to be done. Start and finish learning at regular times. You may even choose to use the same schedule that they use in your child's classroom. Schedule breaks as if you're at school. Have a mid-morning break, lunch, afternoon break. Manage the time. Post classroom times, including breaks on the door, and stick to them. You might consider following your child's established daily and weekly classroom routine. Advise family and friends that you are homeschooling and to call or visit outside these hours. Make appointments, for example, doctor's visits at the beginning of the end of the day to minimise disruptions to your child's learning. It's important that you know what your child should be learning. If your child's school has moved to online learning, it will provide learning materials. Any work sent home by the school will be appropriate for their age and their stage of learning. This is important, especially for year 11 and 12 students who will have to focus on their coming end of year exams. An important part of home learning is monitoring and motivating your student. A good way to do this is to start and finish each day with a simple check-in. In the morning, ask things like, what are you learning today? What are your goals? How will you spend your time? What resources do you require? What support do you need? This makes your student think about what it is that they have to achieve and how they will go about it. In the afternoon, ask, what did you learn today? What was the one thing that was difficult? How will you manage it if it comes up again? What three things went well today? Why were they good? 
You need help with something to make tomorrow more successful. This shows your student that you're interested in how well they've applied themselves and what they've achieved. In addition, these specific questions help your child process instructions from their teachers so they fully understand what is expected of them, how to organise themselves and how to set priorities. One thing to note, your older students may think this is lame and they won't want to do these check-ins with you. However, it's important that they do. Lastly, remember to have fun and stay healthy. Learning one-on-one -on is likely to require less time than a classroom. It's just you with one student. In a classroom, the teacher has 25 or so kids. So use that extra time to plan practical outside activities that are fun and reinforce what you've learned in the classroom. Encourage as much outdoor physical activity as possible. You can also use some of that extra time to have your child help you with household tasks, such as preparing meals. It's actually good for people to do things for others and it gives them a sense both of purpose and achievement. And make sure your child has regular and adequate sleep. During the COVID-19 crisis, professional counselling is available through your EAP providers. If you're in Western Australia, South Australia or Victoria, contact BSS Employee Assistance, 1800 30 30 90. If you're in Queensland or New South Wales, contact Griffin Psychology, 1800 056 076. Counselling is available 24-7 by phone and video.